What's going on YouTube? Welcome back. This video is for all single PC streamers that play Warzone. Typically with single PC streamers, all the work is being done through OBS and then also playing Warzone, which can take a lot of stress. So one thing I find is that a lot of streamers will have a lot of performance issues while they're streaming or they're recording on OBS. So you'll see a huge drop off when it comes to FPS, anywhere from 15 FPS down to like 50 FPS. And sometimes it makes the game unplayable and it's not a good look for your stream. So this video is gonna help you guys fix all that um, without you buying a second PC, which is gonna cost you thousands of dollars. A little backstory, I've been searching the web for so much information on how to fix this issue. Um, couldn't really find too much about it. And pretty much I put all the pieces together myself. Disclaimer, I'm not an expert in computers. So this is purely just off of my findings, looking at all the information that I had in front of me, whether it's my task manager or whatever it was. Um, so I hope this helps you. Um, and I hope your stream becomes a lot better and the game becomes a lot more playable for you. If you find this video helpful, please like the video, comment if this works for you. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Our goal is to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of November. I stream four days a week on twitch.tv forward slash sensei nam. Come check me out, hit a follow. All my socials are down in the description down below. So if you can give me a follow, that'd be greatly appreciated. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna go over the graphic settings that I have just to maximize as much frames per second for you guys. Um, I currently use full screen borderless just because I have a dual, dual setup. So it's easier for me to go back and forth without my game actually exiting on its own. Um, we got my display monitor, my 2070 super. Render resolution I always put at 100. So it renders at the full capacity of my monitor. Um, aspect ratio automatic, sync every time enabled custom frame rate. So what I do with this is I take whatever my monitor can handle, which is 144 Hertz. And I put that as the gameplay custom frame rate limit. So I put it at 144 menu. I leave at 60 out of focus frames. So if I leave the screen, it just goes down to 30 Nvidia highlights. I turn off Nvidia reflex, low latency enabled plus boost. Um, streaming quality I put as normal. And then the next, little bit is going to be at the lowest. And the reason why I want to do that is because I don't want to use a lot of my VRAM usage. I want to minimize it as much as possible so that it doesn't overwork the graphics card, the CPU and the RAM. So texture resolution, very low texture filter, low particle quality, low. All this will be pretty much disabled. Most of the things that you'll see here will be on low or disabled because you don't necessarily need it. And as you, as you play more, you'll get used to what your screen will look like. Film extract at one. NVIDIA DLSS I put on quality, which will automatically put anti-aliasing at film SMAAT2X. Depth of field disabled, all this will be disabled. Film grains at zero, and all this will be blacked out so you won't be able to see it. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to our documents and we're going to change. So we're going to go to documents. We're going to go to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, players, advanced options. And pretty much we're going to change the video memory scale from 0.85 down to 0.55. Um, and then the render work account to understand the value in that we're going to open our task manager. We're going to go to performance under CPU. You see how the cores is eight. We want to half that. So we're going to keep it at four. What we're going to do is we're going to save that exit and then we're done with that. So one thing you'll notice here under performance is that the memory is at 45%, CPU is at 17, GPU is at 19. And as soon as I turn on Warzone, those values will start to increase, right? And so once it's loaded, You'll see that your CPU is pretty high. Memory is really high, 81%. And your GPU is there. So our goal is to be able to lower these values. So I want you guys to look at the CPU as like your body, the memory is your brain, and the GPU are your eyes. The more stress you're putting on your brain, the harder your 
your body is going to have to work, the lower the performance. So this is the values that you want it to get to right now. So you're looking at CPU range anywhere from 30 to 45. Memory is dropped down from 81 to 51. And the GPU is pretty low as well. So one of the biggest fixes that helped me get consistent frames and high frames so I can actually play while I'm streaming or recording. If you see over here, I went from 16 gigabytes of RAM, which the pre-build that I have originally came with, and I just upped it up to 32 gigabytes. So I got another 16 gigabyte RAM stick, put it on, um, and that gave me more brain power so that my CPU doesn't have to stress as much. And that's been my biggest fix so far is by increasing the RAM so I have more brain power so my CPU doesn't have to work or my GPU doesn't have to work as well. So if you guys wanna get more RAM, in the description down below, I have a link to the RAM sticks that I've gotten off Amazon. So with the memory, the 32 gigabytes, plus all the things I just talked about, all combined, that will give you the best user experience as a streamer, content creator with a single PC. I hope this helped you out. Happy content creating. Keep learning, keep growing, be better than yesterday, YouTube. Peace.